When the Green Lanterns are finally given the Lethal Force permission by the Guardians of the Universe, it ends up being a double-edged sword. What the writers of this particular arc tried to spin was the fact that the Oath of the Green Lantern wasn't just some fancy phrase for a lantern to power up, it was supposed to be somewhat of a warning to the lanterns themselves. What the whole Sinestro War does is cause all lantern cores to engage in warfare that provides a massive amount of bloodshed across the DC Universe. And when all seven colors of the emotional spectrum clash, the color that is created is black meaning that this war was always a means to Sinestro's end and he absolutely did not care if every single Yellow Lantern died. His main goal was to get the Guardians of the Universe to snap and write off the no-kill rule within the Book of Oa, because Sinestro knows the only thing that was preventing the Blackest Knight from coming during the War of the Light was that rule, and when it was lifted, the Black Power Battery on Riyut was finally able to fuel itself and seek out an entity to begin its Lantern Corps.